Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb. Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 2. Let me just adjust my microphone because I started this when I wasn't ready. Wh what? We are the arm of the prophets. Hold on a second. Uh How much further must we heft this baggage? Any cell will do. Why not toss it in with this lot? <laughs> They could use the meat. Them? What about us? My belly aches, and his flesh is seared just the way I like it. Quiet! You two whimper like grunts fresh off the teat. He's not meant for the jails. The hierarchs have something special in mind. You may leave, Tartarus. But I thought... And take your brutes with you. Release the prisoner. The Council decided to have you hung by your entrails and your corpse paraded through the city. But ultimately, the terms of your execution are up to me. I am already dead. Indeed. <laughs> Do you know where we are? The mausoleum. Of the Arbiter. Quite so. Here rests the vanguard of the great journey. Every Arbiter from first to last. Each one created and consumed in times of extraordinary crisis. The taming of the Hunters, the Grunt Rebellion. Were it not for the Arbiters, the Covenant would have broken long ago. Even on my knees, I do not belong in their presence. Halo's destruction was your error, and you rightly bear the blame. The council was overzealous. We know you are no heretic. This is the true face of heresy. One who would subvert our faith and incite rebellion against the High Council. Our prophets are false. Open your eyes, my brothers. They will use the faith of our forefathers to bring ruin to us all. The great journey is a- This heretic and those who follow him must be silenced. Their slander offends all who walk the path. Hmm. What use am I? I can no longer command ships, lead troops into battle. Not as you are, no. But become the Arbiter. And you shall be set loose against this heresy with our blessing. Okay. I kind of got the idea of the Arbiter, but this is rad. I love how skimpy that is. What of the Council? The tasks you must undertake as the Arbiter are perilous, suicidal. You will die as each Arbiter has before you. The Council will have their corpse. That is so rad. God, it's like regular armor, too. What would you have your Arbiter do? When we join the 
Covenant, we took an oath. According to our station, all without exception. On the blood of our fathers, on the blood of our sons. Oops, we turning error right there. The covenant. Enough hour. Even to our dying breath. Those who would break this oath are heretics. Worthy of neither pity nor mercy. Even now, they use our Lord's creations to broadcast their lives. We shall grind them into dust. And continue our march to glorious salvation. Keith David is the voice of the Arbiter. You may know him as Childs in the Thing, which I read this, this armor one. suits you. Or no. You cannot hide that mark. Nothing that ever will. Ago. You are the Arbiter, the will of the Prophets. But these are my elites. Their lives matter to me. Yours does not. That makes two of us. Hmm. Holy shit. Uh, he was spawn in the uh, cartoon. So I, I knew that the Arbiter shows up in this game and becomes, like, important. I didn't know you fucking played as him. We are the arm of the prophets, Arbiter. And you are the blade. Be silent and oh. quick, and we shall quell this heresy without incident. Wow. This is so cool. <laughs> Do I have a flashlight? <gasps> Shut up, are you kidding me? That's the coolest! You can just turn invisible! That's beyond radical. You even have different iron- or uh, uh, zoom in. Reveal yourselves only after the Arbiter has joined battle with the enemy. Oh man, this is so cool. You may wish to do the same, Arbiter. But Press take heed. Your armor keyboard. system is not as new as ours. Your camouflage will not last forever. Oh my god, it's a stealth mission. Start. <laughs> we got the carbine as well. That's new. I was walking around half cocked. This is so cool. Like, you get to play as Virgil. And like, melee weapons in the context of a shooter are always the best. Like, you're, you're in a gun, you're gonna, you're in a gunfight. You see some guy whip out a sword. Like, dude, feel free to just start shitting your pants. Whoa. What did he hit me with? Shit, this is so cool. I've been playing in the non-HD version as well. I'm just having such a good time. No idea what hit him. Oh, 
I was hoping I could dual wield. Oh, it was probably already up and I sent it down by mistake. Whoops. Okay. Oh, and this is its own zoom. I'm content to roll with the carbine for a bit. I like the older, like, flash of the energy sword better. Yo, what is this track, though? Sentinels? Yeah, they are. <laughs> He's getting stuck on there. It's funny. So one of the best things about the energy sword is that when swinging, it'll carry you forward several feet. Said, I don't see him. That was awesome. Oh, man. Whoa. He's riding his grunt friend into battle. Is that allowed? Can he do that? Fuck yes. Oh, hell fucking yeah. And like after you don't get to use a lot of the covenant weapons in uh in, in Halo One, like just like, hey, not only do you get to use a covenant weapon, you get to be you get to be this religious figure, this war religious man. Like, I'm not even that salty that I can't dual wield. Cause just one is enough. Oh, that's a Okay. I'm so used to seeing a, a, a ship show up and then just like, up, oh, time to start kicking my ass. Like, just run. Is that what I think it is? Oh man, grunts with active camo. <laughs> Now that just looks silly. See, the fact that the sword still glows even when you're invisible kind of distracts from the ability to stealth. Like, it, it requires such a confirm before you shoot because... I'm on the side of grunts. It's kind of weird that, um, because normally when you have a, a villainous campaign like this, you play as a bad guy and you fight the heroes. It is. More heretics in the passage below us. Whoops. Normally you play as a good guy, fight villains. In villainous campaigns, you play as a bad guy, fight good guys. That's a fuel rod cannon. What about this? That's pretty fantastic. He's dropped a sword somewhere. Yeah, the thing about the sword is that when it's off, it's just this tiny little sheath. Well, it's supposed to be. 
<laughs> I guess I haven't completely depleted an energy sword yet. But yeah, I would have thought that I would be going through, like, human marines and stuff. Holy shit. <laughs> this is so radical. I haven't used a needler yet. You know, when I first originally played Halo 3, the needler was actually my favorite gun. Oh, I can dual wield, just not with certain weapons. He melted. Oops. So you can see that, uh, now it's just an, inner, an empty sword. What? What is this thing? I've never, I don't even think I've ever seen this before. Like, I don't even know if it's in Halo, uh, the other Halos. Sentinel Beam. <laughs> Dude, I think you got him. So it's a battery weapon and it has an overheat. What the hell is this thing? I don't know if I've ever seen this before. And it has to be pretty like original to this game because like, is it just a forerunner weapon and Arby is the only one who actually goes to see the, the Forerunner things. I want to get a super cluster off. Looks like they just explode too quickly. Nice. I like that you don't just get double the ammo. It does give you some more, but not that much. Where'd my gun go? I was really excited. Oh, there it is. Yeah, as I say. Oh, there it is. There's 180. So it does double it. Okay. Do the crystals still glow purple? They have a glow, but it isn't purple. Interesting. What's up, fools? Oh, man, that's so cool. Just some fucking Guilty Gear track just starts playing. God, that guy died super hard. <laughs> just imagine that this, like... Because the, the, the Arbiter is something of, like, an Antichrist figure. Imagine that the evil Jesus decloaks and fucking starts shooting dual-wielded pistols at you. The cat's in here. He wants to be let out. Free me, father. Free me, or I'll make little weird breathing noises in your ear. <laughs> That's what he does all the time. Hell yeah. Look, whatever it is, I don't care. Right now I'm vibing. It's 
sucker. This is so... This is such an interesting idea. Just, you know, taking it from the eyes of this is so cool. So in proper Halo, we haven't seen brutes actually show up yet. We've seen them as the Arbiter. But other than that, we haven't actually seen them, like, appear. Shit. This is the- this is so cool. Get back here, you fucker. I guess I'm I'm a little disappointed that we're not going to be shooting humans. Cuz like you'd think that that would be what it is. Also the fact that uh the arbiter was behind the genocide on Reach and like also a bunch of other things uh that kind of colors the um the conversations with him and Chief a little clearer, you know? Because, uh, for those who don't know, the reason that I know about the Arbiter, despite never playing Halo 2, is because the Arbiter is a prominent figure. The Arbiter is a prominent figure in Halo 3. Next. Cool. See, the fact that you don't have um, a flashlight or anything is... It makes it a little difficult to see, because these areas are... Well, that's actually not so bad, then. Wow. I love this game's art style. Like, the fact that I played half this... Uh, well, not half, but like... A decent chunk of this game in... Oh, he dropped the throw. But the fact that I played, like, a, a chunk of the, this level in, like, the, quote, bad version should, like, tell you that, like, I really like this game's style. Like, I've talked I've talked in the past, uh, specifically with um, Halo 1, about how, like, sometimes, yeah, I really don't mind, like, the, the chunky look of uh, early 2000s PC games and stuff. Because, like, hey, I'm a fan of Morrowind. God, just this, this sea of pink needles. Holy moly. So does the needle rifle show up anywhere? Because, like, I know that the needle rifle, I know the needle rifle from Reach. But I don't know if it shows up anywhere besides that. It might show up in Halo 4, the actually. Mobilizing their air force, after their leader, but watch your back. It's go time. I love these banshees. Like, dude, gold banshees? A uh, word? Yeah, hi. Like, they've got, like, exposed wiring and stuff. Wow. And now we're going into a dogfight. This is so... Oh, my God. I'm having a crisis of faith right now because like in the first two levels I was like yeah I fucking missed out on you know Halo 2 Halo 2 is good you know I, I should have played it what is that? is that freaking fun to me? <sighs> yeah you can do that But, like, I'm having a crisis of faith, of faith now. What is, what is this track? Yeah, I'm having a crisis of faith because, like, Halo 2 might be better than Halo 3. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is This is such a moment. I'm I'm blown away. I don't I don't even know what the hell to say. Like I, I'm I'm taking a breath. I, I, I'm I'm speechless. This is something really special. Getting guilty gear now. These gold banshees though. Thought that that door might open there. Like, I'm gonna boost that that audio because holy shit! I'm, I'm totally dropping the ball here because, like, I'm a Let's Player. My job is to talk when the video games happen. But I'm, I'm having, I'm having like, a, I'm having a moment here. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, the moment's cool, but it is very long, so I am going to come back when that's all done with. One moment, everyone. <laughs> Alright, I think we're coming back into it now. It wasn't too long, actually. I'm pretty sure that this is uh, the place where it happened. Yeah, there's a turret gun. There's a fuel... There are, there's a lot of fuel rod cannons. These are the turret emplacements that are usually on scarabs. Jesus. Now, I know that it would be a weird, dumb gameplay thing that has very little use, but I would love if there was a suicide option, you know? Like, you could just send... So they were all set up here with the intent to go loud with some anti-aircraft shit. And I see some fresh banshees up there, so I'm gonna grab one of those. Just wanna loot some fuel rod cannon rounds. I hope I get the chance to use it. I actually had a, a, a Mega Blocks banshee. Music's fading out. Oh, it's head stairs. Oh, wow. That was really incredible. Turn the uh, game audio back down. Boop, boop. There we go. Minus 10 should be in. All right. See, I feel like I kind of ran out of song here now. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I don't, I'm not sure about some of the, the changes in sound design for modern Halo. Like, some of these sound a little, like, dorky sci-fi, but, like, I like those. That's fine. Also, I love the idea of Ace Custom Banshees. Because, like, normally a Banshee is just... It's such a thing that you pick up and throw away. Alright, so they got weapons everywhere. We're taking them out one by one. Uh, excuse me, everyone. I'm still flying.
Okay, well. That isn't so bad. See, without this track, though, it's kind of eerie, almost. Oh, and this is zone zoom as well. Cool. Oh, man, you can see your legs. That's right. Something about this game really makes me want to get into game design. More so than usual, I mean. It's very sublime in its way. But yeah, this... I love the idea of having a custom banshee. Because, like, banshees and everything are just such a thing that you pick up and throw away. Like, vehicles in Halo really are just a thing that you, you, you get them and then, you know, you're done with them, so you ditch them. Like, you, you just let them crash and burn. And the idea of, um, and I think at one point you even get to uh, steal someone's like custom warthog. I forget whose or what's it is. I think it's a warthog, and I think it's it's some big UNSC guy. Maybe Lord Hood. It, it doesn't even have the same impact of just banshees that are colored differently for some reason. I still can't believe he's called Lord Hood. Because, like, for for the, the Covenant or the, the, the Forerunners or someone to have, like, archaic titles like Knight or, or something, you know, then that makes sense. But, like... UNSC is meant to be like a hyperspace n navy, a hyperspace military, you know? You know, giving it some thought, I think that um, Doomguy is still my favorite space marine. But in terms of groups of space marine, the Spartans are my favorite. Because, like, Doomguy is great. Let me scoot around you guys here. So can I pick up fuel rod cannon rounds from here? It's so weird to have a, uh, a, a big gunship on my side, you know? Like... Especially a phantom. There's a moment in ODST. Like that. My arbiter. I see another heretic position. God, is this guy like an internet meme or something? Like, is he is he a, a, a fan? No sign of the heretic leader or his banshee. We must keep the. Do people love this guy? Like, this way, arbiter. Another heretic. You know, like I feel I feel like people would magnetize to it the way they do Joshua Grant. You know, you can't expect God to do all the work. Dogfighting in Banshees is always great. I will say. One of the reasons that Valhalla is so good. Now, if I could save freely here, I would try to fall out of my Banshee onto another one and jack it. Which is to say, car jack it. You know, plane jack. Also, I like how in Banshees, people's feet just stick out the back. Alright, here we go. Up on out. Grab a fresh one. Ah. <sighs> kind of feel like the game's running out of stuff for me to do in this one. So I'll, I'll come back in whenever we hit cutscene. One moment. Hey, and I'm back. Allegedly, we've uh, trapped this, uh, trapped the heretic leader in this part. And I've got to clear the landing zone. At least that's what he said. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A lot of guys. A lot of guys. 
How about I uh, circle around and come back again? Can I turn invisible in here? No, can't. I really do love how the feet just stick out of the end on the Banshees. Like, the reason that um, there's a specific type of elite with, a, with a, uh, like a big EVA helmet is because they need to be able, they need to be space ready in case. In case they go into space right now because Banshees aren't sealed. The Oracle. Uh, you know what, actually? How about we just, uh, how about we pause it after this? So this has been Halo 2. Yeah, sorry, one moment, everyone. Uh, this has been Halo 2. Um, I thought that that was going to be a cutscene to, to end the mission, but yeah, this has been Halo 2. Oh my god, I'm blown away. <laughs> Dude, Halo 2 might be better than Halo 3, and I'm not even sure how to feel about that. Dude, what the hell, right? <laughs> Blowing my microphone out again, talking about this shit. I'm going crazy over here. Anyway, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Um, Arbiter best, best. That's it. He's just the best. All right, bye. Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb.